ready for another dictation? I bet you all are. All right, boys and girls, so this dictation is actually the end of unit nine test. So for the first time ever, the teacher is going to give you your unit test and give you the answers as we go along. So uh, let's start with our three sounds. Here we go. Number one, z, z. Write the letter that makes the sound z next to number one. All right, Max, what letter makes the sound z? Louder, I can't hear you. That's right, it's the letter z. Nice job. Okay, number two. Ch. Ch. Write the letters that make the sound ch next to number two. All right, Charlie, what letters make the sound ch? That is correct. I, I hope Tyler didn't tell you that answer. All right, it is CH. Nice job, the CH digraph. All right, our third and final sound. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Write the letter that makes the sound ah next to number three. All right, Brody, what letter makes the sound ah? Good job to both of you. That's right, the letter A. Nice work. Okay, now we're going to do three review words. Repeat after me. Club. Club. Elbows up, let's tap it out. K -l -a -b. Club. Write the word club next to number one. All right, the word club is C L U B. Go ahead and mark the blend in the word club. All right, I hope you marked the C L. Very cool. Let's also mark the word club as a closed syllable. So we are going to scoop it. Mark it with a C and put a brev over the U. Number two, junk, junk. Elbows up, let's tap it out. Here we go. J, unk, junk. Don't forget when we tap those glued sounds, we have three sounds, so we glue three fingers together. J, unk, junk. Write the word junk next to number two. All right, the word junk is J, U, N, K. In the word junk, we have a glued sound, so go ahead and put a box around your glued sound. U, N, K. And junk is also a closed syllable, so we're going to scoop it, mark it with a C, and put a breath over the U. I kind of cut into my number three over here, so I'm going to put my number three over here. Number three is test. Test. Elbows up, let's tap it out. T, e, s, t, test. Write the word test next to number three. All right, the word test is T, E, S, T. Mark your blend in the word test. Test has its blend at the end, the S, T, with two lines. And test, mark it as a closed syllable. It has a short E sound, and it's closed in by consonants, so we scoop it, mark it with a C, mark your E with a breve. Okay, current words. Here we go. Clocks. Clocks. What's the base word? Elbows up, let's tap it out. K, L, A, K. Clock. Clocks. Write the word clocks next to number one. All right, I'm going to write a little smaller here. Clocks is C-L-O-C-K-S. All right, we have a couple of things to mark here. Mark your blend in the word clocks, the C-L. Mark your digraph. You have the C-K digraph. That gets one line because it's one sound. Okay, circle your suffix. 
Okay, now let's just concentrate on the word clock. Clock is a closed syllable, so let's mark it as a closed syllable. Scoop your base word, mark it with a C, put the breath over the O. I didn't underline my base word just because we're marking a lot of things up and I think it might be hard to see, um, but normally we would underline our base word also. If you did that, that's fine. Don't worry if you didn't. Okay, number two, drops. Drops. What's the base word? Elbows up, let's tap it out. Here we go. D, r, a, p. Drop, drops. Write the word drops next to number two. All right, drops. I'm gonna move it over here so I have a little bit more room. Is D, R, O, P, S. Let's mark our blend in the word drops. It's the DR. The DR blend is a tricky one because when we put the DR together, it actually ends up making like a JR kind of sound. We just kind of do a dr, dr, like dresher, but it's really DR. So that's a tricky one. Um, in the word drops, let's circle our suffix. Okay, let's just take a look at that base word, drop. Drop is a closed syllable. So let's scoop it. Mark it with a C and put a breath over our O. All right, and number three is gonna sound familiar. It was our word of the day. Spells. Spells. What's the base word? Elbows up, let's tap it out. S -p -e -l. Spell. Spells. Write the word spells next to number three. All right, the word spells is S, P, E, L, L, S. And we have a couple of things to mark up here. Let's mark our blend, S, P. We have a bonus letter, put a star above your bonus letter. Go ahead and circle your suffix. And the word spell, like we talked about the other day, is also a closed syllable. So we're gonna scoop it, mark it with a C, and put a breath above our E. I also just noticed Spells is the only word that we have here where the suffix s makes the z sound. Don't forget, the s can make the s snake s sound or the s bugs z sound. So we have two s and one z. All right, let's go to our trick words. These are also going to sound very familiar. Number one, each. Each. All right, boys and girls, we're going to spell the word each together before we write it. Here we go. E. A C H. Go ahead and write the word each next to number one. Normally when we're in school, we can look at our trick word wall to help us. Since we don't have our trick word wall, we'll spell it together. Okay? And remember, each has that EA vowel team. When you're in second grade, you're going to be marking vowel teams. So heads up. We have each with the vowel team, EA, and the CH digraph. Okay? Let's go ahead and spell each together one more time. Here we go. E A C H. Nice job. All right, trick word number two. C. C. Let's spell the word C together first before we write it. Here we go. S E E. Write the word C next to number two. Again, we have that long E sound because of the E E vowel team. And let's spell it together one more time. How do you spell C? S E E. Nice work. All right, we have a sentence. So I want you to go ahead and listen carefully. I'm gonna say it a few times. If you need to pause the video so that you can write the sentence, that's absolutely fine. This shell was between the rocks. This shell was between the rocks. This shell was between the rocks. Okay, if we were framing this sentence, it would look like this. We would have a nice uppercase frame for the first word. This shell was between 
the rocks. And I'm going to go ahead and put my period there because I know that this is a sentence that ends with a period. All right. So let's start with the word this. Uppercase T H I S. Shell. Sh -e -l. Shell. S H E L L. If we wanted to, you could mark your digraph. You could put a star above your bonus letter. Was. Was is an old trick word. We all should have spelled that one correctly. W A S. Between. Between was one of those trick words we just did when we did each and C. Between. Let's take it apart. It starts with B. We all know the trick word B. B E, right? Okay, and then we have tween. T W. E E N. Between. The, our very old trick word, and rocks. The base word is rock. R ock. Rock, rocks, R-O-C-K-S. If you wanted to, you could circle your digraph. You could, uh, I'm sorry, circle your suffix, underline your digraph. Um, and of course, make sure you ended with a period. And if you're in the habit of going back and circling our trick words, you could have circled was, between, and the. And that is our unit nine dictation. If you have any questions, have mom or dad send an email to your teacher and we'll help you out along with that, okay? See you later.